Hello and welcome to The Voyage. I'm Kimberly Bustine and thanks so much for joining us today. Now you might remember there was a really clever TV commercial floating around a few years ago where the young kid said, We're going to need a bigger boat. And maybe, just maybe, those same words have echoed in your household over the last few years or so. Well, that's exactly what today's episode is all about. How and when to upsize. Some decades ago, a boat in the 30 to 50 feet range was for the most part considered big and large enough to accommodate most people's needs. But clever design, technology and engineering over the years has made managing most boats up to 70 feet so much easier these days. And bigger boats now offer up more livability and the opportunity to venture further. So, it seems a natural progression that we should now venture beyond 70 feet into a world of endless opportunities. But what does that entail? A skipper? Maybe, but maybe not. A bigger dock or pontoon outback? Not necessarily. Greg Haynes from Princess Yachts Australia says 80 is the new 60 and offers some practical solutions to solve a few potential issues. Greg, why are boats getting bigger? I think growing families of one thing, so a bit more real estate, a bit more space, and also people that want to travel further. Like we have an event up at Hayman Island every year, and you know, it's something you, you want, you can think you could do in a 40, but it's much more comfortable than a 50 or a 55. I think with technology as well, they're fitting so many more things in, aren't they? I mean, today you can fit a joystick to the boat, so it uses engines and rudders and and bow and stern thrusters, so really easy to park. But we fit on a lot of boat. We do a little remote control. Uh, and it makes life so easy. So you can be anywhere on your boat and you can even do it single-handedly on a boat up to about you know, 70, 80 feet. So with all of that tech, when you do add that 20, 30 foot, what does that mean? I mean, people get scared of a bigger boat. Um, it really is not that more difficult to drive. In fact, I find it easier to park a bigger boat than a smaller boat. The thing to think about with a bigger boat too is generally over 70 feet, we come standard with crew quarters. So it's not that the owners need a crew, but you know, sometimes they would like to enjoy themselves a bit more. Yeah. So, you know, they could have a, a skipper and a deckhand, and the deckhand might be a chef as well. Yeah. So, just little things that um, give more to the boating experience. And if you have those family members that perhaps you don't like as much as the others, you can just pop them down, down there the, as well. The, use it the dog box, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> is there an aha moment that people have when they want to upgrade? What we're finding is people with families that are growing or people that have just sold their business. So they're thinking, well, I've got more time on my hands now. Yeah. So I want to go out and enjoy you know, the fruits of my labour. So I want to go out and enjoy my boat with my family and my friends. I love that. And there are also options when it comes to mooring the boat. Now we've got clients that have really first boat owners in, in 55 feet. And they uh, once we spend two days on the water with tuition, uh, they can do it quite easily. So how do you facilitate a customer moving from a smaller boat into a bigger boat? Well, we have a lot of owners' experiences that we do at Princess Yachts, you know, owners' lounges that have, and our Hayman Island experience. And the clients get talking to each other, and particularly at Hayman Island, they get on other clients' boats and say so they might own a 50 or a 52, and they get on a 55 and a 65 and talk to the clients and then work out what the next step is for them. Yeah, so, so once the client's decided what he wants, he comes to one of our team around Australia, uh, and we can work out what the next step is for him. We can take his boat on trade, we can talk to the factory, we can configure the boat to suit that individual. So while you're contemplating that great advice, let's take a look at a vessel that fits the bill perfectly, the Princess Y72.
The Sydney International Boat Show is fast approaching. The Princess team will be there with the F55 and S62 on display. It's a great opportunity to get on board and discover why Princess is head and shoulders above any other vessel in its class. We look forward to seeing you there from Thursday, July 28 to Monday, August 1. Now, if you are thinking about getting a bigger boat at some stage in your life, then you'll have to start thinking about where you're going to keep her. And for some people, that will be on a jetty or pontoon close to home. But there are a few things that you have to consider. Greg, this is a really classic boating house setup here, isn't it, on the Gold Coast? It is. You have houses like this all over Australia. You know, nearly every house has a pontoon that's on the water. Now this is an older estate, this is Sanctuary Cove. Some, this house here we we're at is probably 20 years old. Yep. So 20 years ago, you know, a big boat was 40 feet. Now they're getting bigger, they're 60, 65, 70 feet. And even the marinas themselves were catering for 30 to 40 foot boats. So they're having to rethink what they're doing and develop berths for bigger boats. Yeah. Well, there is other things to consider too, is that you a bigger boat draws more water, so you've got to have more water under your boat on your pontoon, but also getting down the estuaries to where your boat's moored. Then you've got height restrictions too. When you've got a taller boat, you might have to get under a bridge. So we have customers that have a bigger boat and they can only get out on high tide because they draw more. And then some customers can only get out on low tide because they've got a flybridge boat and they live under a, past a bridge, so they have to get under the bridge. So, you know, really the, you've, some people will switch from a V class to an F class or vice versa because of what those requirements might be. And if we want to get really picky, I mean, having your morning cuppa out in front of your house and your view's gone. No, that's right. But you know, one of the beautiful things about having your boat in front of your house is if at, at a, a drop of a hat you want to go boating, well, it's there. I think there are other options. There is, like marinas all up and down the east and west coasts of Australia. Um, you can leave your boat there. They've got like great facilities. You get your fuel there. They've got clubhouses and restaurants and closer to the to the seaway or, or entrances as well. Can you explain to me what a key line is and why it's important when you have a waterfront home? Yeah, so the key line basically is the boundaries of your property extended out to where your pontoon is. So you need to keep a metre and a half inside of that on each side okay. to be inside you know, what the regulations say. And they may differ for different states, but you know, here where we are on the Gold Coast, it's one and a half metres each side, and your boat's got to be smaller than the gap in between it. Now, when you're looking at a boat, you need to consider those things. One option to think about if your boat is too big and you don't want to sell up and move is to talk to us about a mooring and management arrangement at our marina, the Princess Marina at Sanctuary Cove. Greg, I could see that it would be so advantageous to have your boat living here. Well, this is our Princess dock at Sanctuary Cove Marina. Undercover, which is amazing, keeps the boats well protected. But we also have a service team based here. So, you know, every morning they walk the docks, mm. they check the shore power on all the boats. We do a full maintenance schedule, so the boats are washed every month. Um, if something else needs to be done, the boys will go on the boats, they can get our trades to come here and really look after the boats. And it keeps the value of the boats up too. Yeah. And sometimes you'll have a boat moored at your house, but you you neglect the boat. But we also pick up boats from clients' houses and bring them to our marina and do the full detail and engine service and anti fouls and, and do all that work for them. It takes the pain away from owning a boat. Oh, there's nothing worse than getting ready to go out a day on the water. You get on the boat and something's not working, something needs to be cleaned. And then I think you will, you will know that as soon as you see that one thing has to be cleaned, all you see is everything else that has to be cleaned and it would just ruin your day. It does. We have a lot of clients that, you know, they ring us up and they say, okay, we're coming down on Friday. So we clean the boat, take all the covers off the boat, have the boat ready, the air conditioner's on. Yeah. They come back on Monday or Tuesday or whatever, and then they say we're back, we get the boat washed, we put all the covers back on it and put the boat to bed. Beautiful. And the size doesn't matter? No, we can handle up to boats in 100, 130 feet. It's, um, it, it just takes the pain away from it. <laughs> and also, a lot of the houses now can't accommodate boats of that size. So here at Sanctuary Cove, we can do it all. Finally today, before we go, a huge congratulations to Marion and Barry who are here at Princess Yachts on handover day, receiving the keys to their brand new F62. It's a special day indeed, a day I'm sure they will remember for years to come. Now I'm going to start to enjoy it and I feel a lot more relaxed than I did leading up to today. <laughs> 
Well, he is thrilled and I can see why. A huge congratulations to Barry and Marianne. Well, there you have it. If you want to look into getting something bigger, then make sure you have a chat with Greg and the team just to find out exactly how you can do that. You can contact us here at Sanctuary Cove or via the website as well. Thanks so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you at the Sydney Boat Show.